With less than half of the season remaining, it's now clear which sides are in the hunt for their domestic league titles. Of course, it takes a huge team effort for these clubs to achieve such a feat. However, in some cases, an individual can play such a key role in this that without them, their club's title charge may have faltered already. In today's scout report, we look at three players who have been integral to their team's title challenge and analyse the underlying numbers behind their outstanding contribution. Let's get started. Alexander Mitrovic in 2019-20, Fulham gained promotion to the Premier League via the playoffs, largely thanks to their Serbian frontman Aleksandar Mitrovic, who topped the championship goalscoring charts with 26 goals. Fast forward two years and the 27-year-old is once again tearing it up in the English Football League, only this time he's on his way to making history, having already bettered his tally from Scott Parker's penultimate season. Serbia's all-time top scorer has bagged 27 goals in 25 games at the time of writing, a goal every 81 minutes on average. This includes three hat-tricks and remarkably, as an individual, he scored more goals than Barnsley, Peterborough, Derby and Hull have managed in total this term. Unsurprisingly, he is the division's top scorer, seven strikes ahead of Blackburn's Ben Brereton, and he's netted 19 more goals than anyone else in the Fulham squad. If the former Newcastle striker continues firing at this rate, he'll end the campaign with a ridiculous 49 goals, comfortably breaking Ivan Toney's record of 33 goals in a single championship season set last year. However, Mitrovic's expected goals of 0.82 per 90 suggests he has been a bit fortunate, with XG having him at 7 goals fewer than his current tally. Though really, it goes to show just how lethal the 6'2 striker has been in front of goal. October's Championship Player of the Month has averaged 4.4 shots per game this season, the highest in the division and only bettered by Robert Lewandowski in Europe's top five leagues. The Fulham forward was particularly strong in the early months of the season, netting 11 and scoring in seven consecutive games. The last championship player to achieve such a feat was Jordan Rhodes back in 2012-13. After a solid start to the season, the West London side have exploded in 2022, as quite incredibly they've scored 22 in just four games, becoming the first English team in 88 years to score six goals or more in three consecutive matches. The partisan prodigy contributed seven of these, helping the side become Europe's most prolific outfit this term at the time of writing, above the likes of Bayern Munich and Liverpool. Despite the majority of Mitrovic's goals coming from inside the box, he's also proven that he's not just a poacher, laying on seven goals for his teammates behind only Harry Wilson in the club's assist charts. It's alarming how reliant Marco Silva's system is on the Serb though, as fellow forwards Munez and Reed have scored just seven between them. In total, Mitrovic's goal contributions have earned his side a whooping 13 points, Minus this tally, and they'd shoot down to sixth in the table. Fulham currently sit eight points clear at the top and are clear favourites for a return to the Premier League. But if they do gain yet another promotion, the former Anderlecht man will need to start carrying this form over to the English top flight, after scoring just three last term and having hit double figures in the Prem just once in four seasons. There's no doubting his importance to this Fulham side though, so they'll need their big number nine to keep fit and firing. Cody Gakpo Having comfortably won the Eredivisie last term by 16 points, their third successive title, Ajax find themselves in a much tighter battle for the trophy this year, with PSV currently just two points behind the leaders at the time of writing. Considering how strong the Dutch champions have looked in the UCL, Roger Smith's side should be commended for keeping up the pace with their rivals. However, this would not be possible without their homegrown star, Cody Gakpo. The 22-year-old winger made his debut for PSV back in 2018 and has impressed ever since, but it's this season that he's truly shone. The Dutchman has 16 goal involvements in 15 games, a career high and already above his tally of nine last term. He's been PSV's most potent forward this season, contributing seven more goals than anyone else in the squad. The youngster is in double digits for assists, with only Dusan Tadic racking up more in the league. Named PSV vice-captain in the summer, Gakpo has repaid his manager's faith with a goal and assist rate of 1.2 per 90, the best in Holland. His expected numbers suggest that he's been slightly fortunate. However, he's way above the likes of Ajax's Anthony in this regard, who's been in scintillating form himself this season. The Netherlands international also beats the Brazilian for dribbles, averaging 2.6 per game, only bettered by Feyenoord's Luis Sinistera in the league. And Gakpo's underlying numbers are superb across the board, completing 2.8 key passes per match, more than Kevin De Bruyne, and producing 3.2 shots per 90, the same as Harry Kane, and only topped by two players in the Eredivisie. What's more, the left winger took seven shots and created seven chances against Peck Zwolle in October, 
the first PSV player to hit such numbers in a single league game since Dries Mertens in 2011. And the impressive stats don't end there, as Gakpo has won the most fouls for his team with 1.4 a game and doesn't waste the set pieces he earns either, averaging 3.4 crosses per 90 with 71% of these finding a teammate, one of the highest success rates in the Dutch top flight. It's no surprise then that he is a fan favourite at the Philips Stadion, as PSV would be 14 points less well off without his goal contributions this season. And when he was taken off on the hour mark against Feyenoord in September whilst losing 1-0, the PSV faithful booed the decision, and the home side would go on to lose the game 4-0. The Dutch Super Cup holders also struggled without their talisman in autumn, when an ankle injury forced them out for five games. During this time, the Eindhoven outfit dropped five points, including a damning 5-0 defeat to rivals Ajax. And returning to the side, PSV won five consecutive games, showing just how important he is. The future looks incredibly bright for the PSV wonder kid, who seems destined for bigger things, as the club's technical director, John de Jong, recently told the Dutch Telegraph that he will of course not stay in Eindhoven forever. He will go to a top club in the top league in the future. Liverpool and Man City are both thought to be interested in the youngster, and if he maintains this kind of form in Holland, he could end the season with more silverware and attract further attention across Europe. Teo Hernandez After eight years without Champions League football, AC Milan finally got themselves back into Europe's elite competition, finishing a Serie A runners-up last term, behind rivals Inter. This year, they aim to do one better and claim their first Scudetto in 12 years. Currently just four points off top spot, the Rossoneri have heavily relied on their attacking left-back Teo Hernandez. The 24-year-old was excellent last term, contributing to 12 goals and being named in Serie A's Team of the Year. But this season, he's reaching new heights with nine goal involvements already, which is only bettered by Ibrahimovic in the Milan squad. In fact, amongst fullbacks, only Trent Alexander-Arnold has more goal contributions in Europe's top five leagues. The former Real Madrid man got off to a fine start this season, contributing to both goals in a 2-0 win over Venezia in September, and remarkably becoming the first Milan defender to score an assist in a Serie A game since 2005. Hernandez excels in Stefano Pioli's attacking 4-2-3-1 system, taking 1.4 shots a game, more than his teammate Olivier Giroud, while his 0.42 expected goals and assists per 90 is above the likes of Juventus star Federico Chiesa. The Marseille-born defender is often at the heart of his team's attacking play, producing 0.7 goal-creating actions per 90, only bettered by Rafael Leao and the squad. Hernandez may thrive in the final third of the pitch, but he's also solid in defence, completing three tackles and interceptions per 90, and gets dribbled past just 0.2 times per game, ranking in the top 2% of fullbacks across Europe in this metric. The ex Real Sociedad star has been rewarded this season with his first call up to the France squad, and he's hit the ground running with the national team, scoring one and assisting three in his first four caps. But it's at the San Siro where he's had the biggest impact on his side's fortunes as without his goal contributions, they would be five points worse off, and when the left-back missed four games due to injury and suspension, Pioli's Ben dropped five points. In total, the team has a goal difference of plus 22 when he's on the pitch, the highest of any player in the squad. There's a strong case to say Milan's slim chances of a 19th Scudetto this term have been largely kept alive by the high-flying Frenchman. So that was three players carrying their side's title challenges. But do you agree with our choices? And do you have any picks of your own? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, do give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more great content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.